Hello, my name is Rachel Gerner, and we're going to continue our discussion about the Marzano model. We'll focus our conversation today on domains one and two. What can teachers do to engage students? As the observer, you should see that the teacher notices when specific students or groups of students are not engaged and when the energy level is low. When you observe the students, students should be aware that the teacher is taking note of their level of engagement and try to increase their level of engagement when prompted. Teachers can use academic games to maintain student engagement. For example, teachers could use games such as Name That Category or Jeopardy. And teachers could develop impromptu games, such as making a game out of guessing which answer might be correct. And students should be able to engage in the games with some enthusiasm. Finally, Teachers can use response rate techniques, for example, wait time, response cards, hand signals. And as the observer, you should see that students respond to these questions and students can describe their thinking about specific questions. What can teachers do to establish or maintain classroom rules and procedures? Teacher can involve students in designing classroom routines, use classroom meetings, remind students of rules, and the observer should see students following these clear routines and recognizing cues and signals from the teacher. The physical layout of the classroom can help with the organization. So the observer should see that the physical layout has clear traffic patterns and easy access to materials and centers. Students should be able to move easily about the classroom and make use of those materials and learning centers. What can teachers do to develop effective lessons organized into a cohesive unit? Scaffolding can help with this. So with effective lessons, the teacher prepares and plans the organization so that each piece of information builds on the previous piece. You can see that the teacher can describe the rationale for how the content is organized and the sequence of instruction. Next, the teacher uh, should just have evidence that they can organize lessons with the units to progress towards a deeper understanding of content. So the plans incorporate student choice and initiative, and when asked, the teacher can describe how lessons within the unit progress towards deeper understanding and transfer of content. And then finally, the teacher can ensure that lessons and unit plans are aligned with content standards. And these uh, content standards are identified by the district, and the teacher can describe the sequence of content taught. That concludes our presentation for today. If you would like more information about the Marzano teaching model, I recommend the Marzano Center, as well as the Washington Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction.